Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets going up against the Kansas City Royals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And singing the big bat in the lineup so and far now, this year, Jay Mack leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy yeah, that looks to slug right and basically on. make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. And stepping in for New York, Jay Mack. He consistently hits the ball hard. His exit velocity and barrel rate here are the tops in the league. Line drive. Plays it on a bounce, and it eats him up. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Mets take the lead. 1-0. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boo. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. One down. Stepping in the long ball threat, Pete Alonzo. Mack, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. It's in and out of his glove. To second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. One run on two hits. No errors and no one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Mets one. KC coming to bat. Back here in Kansas City. And towing the slab in this one, Jay Mack. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Bobby Witt Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. You know, Boo, playing a full season of baseball at this level is hard enough, but to do it as a two-way player, it's even more challenging. I hope fans appreciate the work he's putting in this season to make all of this happen. It's pretty special. Castro, jump throw across his body. Awesome play there. Batting second, the second baseman. Nick. Here's Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That's why it's important to manage your workload as a two-way player. This season is a grind. You want to give everything for your team, but you can only do that if you're healthy and available. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And now, Vinny Pasquantino. That one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Royals set down in order. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail here. 1 0. And we're back. Leading Bottom up. of the Will inning. The and now Nelson Nothing Velasquez. Nelson. 
Velasquez batting in the cleanup spot and he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Mack back to work. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. one that one back up the middle and it gets through so a man on base to start the inning he was all over that one just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down Hunter Renfro at the plate And fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stand at the double play right here. And a pitch. This one in the air right field. Brings it in. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Yeah. Fraley. Jake Fraley steps in for the Royals. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Only two hits over the last five games. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Ground ball right side could be two. Lindor, that's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Mets one, and the Royals nothing. Up next for the Mets. The designated hitter, Jay Matt. the grab and that'll end the inning so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left we had and welcome back to the ballpark and here's the catcher Salvador Perez Mac back to work tapped at the plate but it's a foul ball Strike two. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? Got double digit strikeouts in his last start. And he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Drew Waters stands in. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and one. The Royals down by a pair here in the last half of the third. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two.
on the ground to the left. Lindor. The throw to first. Two up, two down. Batting nut. The third baseman, Nick Eaton. And stepping in is the speedy Nate Eaton. He's done a great job making contact recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. And that drops in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Kicks and fires. That clips the corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Royals bats are quiet there. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to go for the last half That's of the inning. Stop. Now here Bobby. is Bobby Witt Jr. Junior. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Boog, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same game. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Swings and misses. Had him way out front of the slur. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time madrigal batting with one down takes a strike one out base is empty One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to no, strike out the side here. Nine. Make a little statement, Maybe. but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Pasquantino now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Close but call the ball and the count is one and one. The Royals trailing by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And a big swing and a miss. Off the mark there. Now two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. The bat. Matt measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds. He's a former National League Cy Young Award winner. Fought off foul. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've launched six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Wit. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. You know, that looks routine, but it hasn't been so easy for this club defensively this year, and you've got to make those routine plays behind a pitcher. Helps him to get more comfortable and move through this ballgame. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. 
he's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. In the air, right side. Renfro makes the catch. Two down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Francisco Lindor. Two outs. Swing and a bouncer. And that is that. Mets strand one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here in Kansas City, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now, Nelson Velasquez. The right-hander back to work. Outside low, and that's ball one. Well, these Royals just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Gets him swinging with that screwball, and it was a good one. You know, the no screwballs right often compared to a changeup because of the velocity and the arm side movement, but the big difference is what you saw right there. A lot more depth or drop than most changeups, and it caused him to swing right over the top. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Flied to right his first time. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. On the ground out to short. Lindor on the first. And Renfro is retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. And to the play for Kansas City, Jake Fraley. He's 0 for 1. In the air, left field down the line. Nimmo makes the catch, and that'll do it. And now it's Salvador Perez to the play. Having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Mack, back to work. That one's in there. That's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Foul ball still 0-2. He goes down looking. So digging in, Number Drew fielding. Water. Over one so far. Drew Water. Ah. 
That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Now a chance for Nate Eaton. Struck out swinging his first time. And that drops in for a strike. 0 and 1. Two out spaces empty. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still down 3 0. One gone runner at first. So up next for New York, Jay Mack. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. There's a swing and a drive. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And we're back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. The wind of the pitch. That's hard hit on the line. Nimmo makes the catch, and there's one down. Now the second baseman. So up now for Kansas City, Nick Madrigal, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. That one finds the zone. Going one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. One down, base is empty. That one missed. And one and two. Got it by him for the K. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. On the ground. And foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Carpenter makes the play, and that ends the inning.
out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Nelson Velasquez. And the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Matt. Into his eighth inning of work, Zingy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. The 0-2. Fights it off. You'll see another. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. Kicks and deals. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Now that is. Now it's Hunter right Renfro. Hunter Renfro. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Comes up empty. him looking that's a strikeout a big performance on the mound lots of strikeouts that was number 14 yeah clearly trusting his stuff in this one boo feeling really good about what he's working with and that really allows a guy to attack hitters you know such an important mindset to have out there on the mound especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes two outs base is empty and next up for the Royals Jake Fraley right through there for a strike And it's one and one. I got a ball, one strike. That one hit to right. Drops into the glove, and that'll do it. And now the Mets DH, Jay Mack. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. <laughs> Swung on, belted. That's bad. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. He'll touch them all. His 69th homer of the year. And they add on. It's 7-0. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Well, he comes through big time with the Grand Slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base, and... We head to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Salvador Perez. And a pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Oh, one now. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. And Eddie deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. All right, come on now, one time. Get a piece. Oops. 
swing and that ball smashed on a line makes the grab one away the center fielder number six Drew Waters Drew. will hit next three pitch strikeout last time up got to put up more of a fight in this one and that one clips the corner I mean his pitch efficiency ability to get ahead and count at times pitch to contact let the defense work behind him that's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning that one misses ball one ball one. you just don't see it that much anymore a guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out there's just something about that ninth inning but being at under 100 pitches he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Put that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part now curveball, or reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly, it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Eaton in the box again, takes a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here, the last half of inning number nine. They're down to their final strike. Mack is just one strike away. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Only two hits allowed so the far batter, tonight, Boone, so I don't think that Good one will disrupt his momentum Bobby. all that much. You know, he's really been Good on top girl. of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And here is Bobby Witt Jr. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets take this one in a blowout. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started.